welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And today, I wanna to talk to you about something that's simple, but yet complex. I'm gonna talk about Miranda warnings. Now, the reason why most people are kinda, of, I guess, confused on why or what they are, the why is most people have no real idea what their quote unquote constitutional rights are. And one of them is the right against self-incrimination. Those things would be offering evidence to police such as blood tests, saliva, or even your ID without the evidence of a crime. Because if you submit to one of these tests, you are then volunteering private information and allowing them to use that against you. Now, Miranda v. Arizona, one of the things they use is the context of you have the right to an attorney. You also have the right to remain silent. One of those most people have the inability to do, and that's to be quiet, like this damn truck that just went by. Can't be quiet. The context of it is this. Prior to any arrest, which means whether it's for a traffic violation, traffic infraction, or an actual arrest for a felony or some sort, police must Mirandize you prior to transport because you do have the right to remain silent. Those are the things that are pertinent when you're looking for defending oneself. Often you don't hear them give you these Miranda warnings. Why? Because they are not arresting you for a crime and they are taking you to administrative courts, which means they are taking you to courts with no record. So if there is a court for no record, they are not taking you to a court of law in which they often tell you you have a right to. And in that same instance, you must also assist upon that. You must insist on going before an actual judge and you must challenge every aspect of their idea of a crime. Because I constantly say, it is not about law, it's about revenue. If you are allowing these behaviors to go on, they will continue to escalate. And just as I spoke about the 30 to 45 day layoff from revenue generation, things are going to escalate. This is a time to now challenge them on everything they deem as legal and lawful. Because if you're choosing not to, you're telling them what they're doing is right. Your Miranda warnings are, you have the right to remain silent. You have the right to be assisted by counsel. If you choose to give up those rights, they can be held against you against a, in a court of law. Choose to fight. If you are giving up one, you are giving up all. And fear is only those things that are in your head. Make a choice and enjoy it and stick with that choice. That's all I have for today because if you're not Mirandized, the arrest itself is not legal. Supreme.